Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of the Fashion Shock Show. Now, this particular episode is dedicated to one constant problem that we are having in this society. We have begged you, we have our faith, we have carried sacrifice, we have even hoping a hashtag. We say no to what I ordered versus what I got. So, what I'm going to do today is I dedicated this episode to discuss, to relate, to converse, in fact, to research and ponder upon this trouble. That is Kilo Shele Gungun. My dear brother and sister, welcome to the episode. The first look on what I ordered versus why God is going to be of this yellow piece. Now, this guy set out to be an amazing outfit. The cape and the fitting pants. I would never thought that this can go wrong in any way. Even if they told you Queen Moses is leading the Israelite through the wilderness. Show us up when Queen Wilderness in a feto ye, confeto ye. It's not this wide. I mean, there is function and there's aesthetic. Now, if there's a cutout on a particular garment, it's meant to do something. Most times to sell sexy and sometimes to give your body some asynthetic factor. But no! Hey, factor. Then I want to ask the question. Can you hear that hey logo? That hey logo that you put in the gun. Are you showing the cape of Captain America? Can you follow go Avengers? No, what's the essence of that hate that is in the down? It's no necessary street. If a person comes to you and told you, I want to sew this type of style, if you're not having the command of the style or what, my dear, leave it. I'll not tell you, we tailor it. Now, speaking of things that under tailor, we tailor, how can a person tell you, I am a bride? And on my day of joy, I want it to be very, very glorious. And what you are supposed to do, you are supposed to look at the mood, but hey, this person even paid a hundred and fifty thousand, you know, dollar four eighty. And yet, you saw the original style, you can see that they are using original feathers on that gang. But you didn't do that, you didn't. You now went under the rain. You went to look for a shaking of two day oh, that's a chic, you know, chic to do the pa or more low more. You now remove the feather of the two day old chic. Now, if this auntie should not enter our reception, so what are you doing? She or she or what are you gonna do? So real quick, you think the chicken is not having a leather, a leather, a leather head? You think the chicken is not having head? You think it's not having how could you even do that? I mean, if you know that you do not have you know, the right materials, you don't have you know, the right fix to a particular outfit, just let it be. There are many ways to say, I cannot do this without disappointing. I mean, come on, that day is the day of our wedding now. You know, we to look for that long fringe. Hey, what long fringe? Yes, okay, meaning that well, that is the rain that want to go and cave the feathers down there. <laughs> oh, wrong now. It's not right. It's wrong. I've come to realize that peplums are a very big deal when it comes to fashion and tailoring. Different stays, different techniques, different skills are required to achieve the desired result you want for your peplum. When you see a peplum so proud, you see a peplum standing up, you can see the TV. The cable is quite around town. You now want to sew that type of peplum. Somebody that has already installed the peplum of DSTV, you are now giving them the peplum of start times. Kobalo, no, come on, Kobalo now. You have already, I know the thing about all this, Ashebi. You have, you have already prepared your mind that when I get to that party, when the alien starts, when they say, handsome, handsome baby, you have, that person has already planned how they are going to open their pores and the spray. But hey, Joe, someone that the total package of a yearly bouquet is this thing to can she go and be spraying forty thousand? Just come do as What's it wrong? It didn't blend anymore. Now this same thing is my amusement when I see this peplum top, and I ask myself, how are you guys even doing it? Like how? Hazazam, can you not see what they say? Hey, for example, if you okay, can you pay a mini guru? You want a jabota? So, you pay the peplum they bought for you. It's a jabota. You are now sewing the peplum of a guru around now. No, it's not right. And the moment you agree and you accept that it is wrong, and then you know, the stay, the choice of lining, I mean, it's just very terrible. And then you, you have many, many excuses. And see, 
Sherry, the lace that they used to sew the original style is jacquard. The lace that you brought is cord lace. When you know, when cord cannot sew it, oh, but even if you had that this small this it will not sew it. Why do you still just say the cord to work? Hello, this cord, you cannot sew this cloth. But you didn't do that. Now, look at all where we are now. We are using it to do eye style on our shopping villa. One of the simplest things I've ever come across in fashion can be draping. Now, as simple as draping is, it can also be very, very difficult. Let me give you this very simple tip. For draping, all you have to do is find an angle. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, pick it in the middle and look at the way your fabric will drape. Even on 180 degrees, just look at your curtains at home. When you push to one side, you see the way it's gonna drape. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, Paris, but it's a lie. When somebody is showing you style, okay, oh, you will drape the fabric, it's gonna come to one side, and then it looks like it has like a bell-like kind of sleeve on the other side, but instead for you to sew a drape dress for this lady, and Tisha when you went to look for the material of cotton in toilet, I don't know if you can remember that some type of cotton that toilet, you use it in toilet, that cotton is thick, in such a way that the person outside cannot see inside. You now went to adopt that fabric. Not only did you do that, you still didn't end there, you still not end there, for that, yeah, yeah, you endeavor for that. You know, there's something called open mare. Open mare is that type of rope they used to, you know, tie goes. If you go to my twelve for my two market to see them, you know, where to look for open mare. Most times, it's also that I used to, you know, <laughs> kiri kiri, eh, kiri, that's key around. It's also that I used to walk this type of eh, 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 rope. You know, where to buy it, you know, put it in there. Excuse me, he go. I want Pharaoh in the in Old Testament. You didn't tell you what is the type of dress that they're wearing that time. I can a personal order this and you give them the and to all the me. You didn't do me a lot. Thanks. Sometimes when I see this situation of what I ordered versus what I got, I'll not be asking myself that. Is it that you are doing it intentionally? A cloth that is registry cloth. Do you know the meaning of registry? Do they want to go and tell your partner, wait for life? I do. You are now sewing the cloth of I didn't. You don't know where this cloth a look. It can shatter. You can see this person and begin to think about your relationship, begin to dilly and dally things that ah, am I really sure I'm making the right choice? It's like people here, they're afraid to declare that party is gonna be nice, it's gonna be great. You now get to the party, now discover the party that you have already dressed up, you have done everything. You now see that in the party, would you want to rock? No, check that level of disappointment. That's the kind of disappointment I see with things like this because you would now be wondering, ah, kidney, all oh, simple now, but no. They will just change the whole geography of the old clothes. This is meant to be a basic dress, you know, detailed in embellishments and the fitting, you know, come out great and nice. But you went to carry the satin that we are using to do lining. Satin of 415, you go with water. You don't want to use that one to sew a whole gun. Ah. I think at this point, we are going to need more than an hashtag. I think we need a go for me account. We're going to be discussing about the consequences that will come after you sew gun, and the gun is not what you and your customer agree. Now, finally, guys, on this episode of what I ordered versus what I got, this one. Hey, so many people, something opened my mouth. Oh yeah, Milano, I just wanna say ten big. Did you come up with all long for? How can a person come to you for professional advice, professional delivery? Like she literally just said, can you do this? Yes, I can. Okay, run it. Run it. And then you run now mad. Because now, even those that want to run, run. When they, they will wait for until the mark, get set, go to go. But you didn't do that until back. You didn't allow for them to go. go. You just, it's anti, she now became confused. No, you have to look at it. Eh, eh. Hey, look, look at it. Look at it then. Where is the ball? The fabric is a shimmer fabric. You are putting net. And this particular net, as I'm looking at it, looking at that net of 160. One yeah, 160 per yard or 180. What, what happened? They, they thing on the side. That thing that they put there. Where is it? So people that are cooking fried rice and jello and they are putting salad by the side. You think they are stupid? You think they don't know what they are doing? Like I said before, this particular tailor, even though they did not tag you, I will look for you. 
I will find you. I just want to ask you, pay how come? Tori, when they say go and call our call, this is how come. When you call up, we will go to the real. Thanks. Alright guys, we finally come to the end of this episode of the Fashion Shock Show. Like I always say, please do not forget to like, to share, to comment, to subscribe, kilo to one bit. Then, um, please so subscribe to the same thing as follow. Follow the channel and then do not miss out on every single episode of the Fashion Shock Show and every other show we drop on the channel. And until the next time I catch you on another great episode of the Fashion Shock Show, my name is Kiki. Bye guys. Action. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of the Fashion Shop Show. Now, this particular episode is dedicated to one constant problem that we are having in the society. We are begging you, we have our face, we are calling sacrifice, we are people who hopefully have hashtag been saying no to what I ordered versus what I got. So, what I'm going to do today is I dedicated this episode to discuss, to relate, to converse, in fact, to research and ponder. Bro camera. Bro 